Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another 100 things declutter video. I have nothing interesting to say, no insights to share. I'm just still decluttering and still finding loads of things to get rid of. If you want to see the rest of these videos, I will link the playlist over here. I am just constantly going through my house and every time I get rid of something, I film a little clip because you guys seem to like these videos. So here are another 100 things that I cleared out of my home. Some more fake flowers that Daniel used for a photography project. We don't need to keep these. Outgrown t-shirt. Also outgrown. And this one. And this one as well. I really like this one, but it's just a bit too small for me. And I'm not hanging on to things in the hopes that one day I'll fit into them. This was Daniel's sweatshirt, but it's actually quite a weird length. It's too short and it, it fits him funny, so he doesn't wear it. A shirt that Daniel no longer wants and I know no one won't wear it. This white shirt is kind of old and stained around the collar and I've bleached it but it's ancient. It just needs to go at this point. A jacket that Daniel no longer wants and I don't think no one will wear this. A travel pillow that we don't use. An unwanted plush Pokemon figure. I think it's Pokemon. Anyway, it's a toy. Nobody here wants it. A bag we don't use. An unwanted cap. And another one, a flag pin Daniel had like dress up week at school and one of the days he went as Donald Trump. A random toweling headband. A cushion cover that I don't like or use. And another one. I really enjoyed this duster for a while. I even shared it in a favorites, but I've noticed that we just don't use it anymore. We just dust with cloths and it's quite big and bulky. So I'm just gonna let this go. A grotty old carabiner clip. An old key ring. Clearing out some Christmas stuff. I no longer want these stocking hangers. Or this sequined cushion cover. And another couple of Christmas cushion covers. Also this sorry excuse for a tree. This plastic baseball bat, which actually fell on my head when I opened a cupboard. This was for a like costume party thing. We don't need this anymore. A gorgeous pair of Clark sandals, hardly worn, I'm also selling these. They are just too narrow or my feet are too wide. Actually, the shoes are too narrow. I shouldn't have bought them. I fooled myself into thinking they'd stretch out, but they're just too tight to wear, so I never wear them. A pair of shoes that I also just never wear and they are also slightly too tight. Really old sunscreen that is actually a few years old. This glass has a chip forming over there. I don't know if you can tell would help if the camera would focus and I'd rather let it go before that actually breaks off and cuts somebody. Magnetic frames that I used to have on the fridge I actually covered them with scrapbooking paper. I don't use these and I didn't even know I had them. I found this onion soup packet in the cupboard it had been opened it did have a clip on but I have no idea when we opened that it must have been over a year ago so that can definitely go. A huge pile of paperwork that we've just gone through and it's very satisfying to get rid of all of that. A whole pile of recipes. I've actually redone my recipe file so I can toss these. I've decided not to keep this jumper that I recently thrifted. You would have seen me thrift this dress very recently from Save Mart. I haven't actually worn it because not only have I gained a bit of weight but it also shrunk in the wash like it shrunk lengthways and it's shorter and the waistband fits me in a funny place now. I talked about these tunics in a favorites video a while ago. I haven't actually worn this one since then. It served me very well for a particular event I was at, but since then it's just been hanging in my cupboard, so I'm gonna let this go. I haven't worn this blouse in so long, I think it's time to go. Same goes for this, I just haven't worn it in ages. An old flannel shirt that's seen better days. I've only worn this blouse a couple of times. It's always felt a bit bright to me, so I'm gonna pass this on. Same with this, I thrifted this for about 50 cents and I've never actually worn it because it's just a little bit too bright. This top is too small for me. I haven't worn this dress in ages. This was a top I thrifted years ago. I have worn it now and again, not a super lot. I just have other things that I prefer, so. I got my money's worth out of this and this can go now. I don't wear this little bolero. I also don't wear this short sleeve jumper. We had this massive disc holder. It's actually broken. We had so many like backup discs and software discs and I've now backed up all of the things I need to onto an external hard drive and 
the discs we do need to keep fit into this little folder. So this can go and free up a whole bunch of space in our cupboard. Another necklace I haven't worn in years. And another one. I have worn this, but not often enough to justify keeping it. These earrings were green and they've gone more and more yellow over the years and I just don't wear them. These earrings are not only gold or like fake gold, they are a very, very yellow gold. So I just don't tend to wear these. I never wear these black studs. Ditto these geometric earrings. An old charger cable. Adapters and converters we found in Grant's desk. A bunch of pokey tools we found in Grant's desk. We only really need one in the house. And some more odds and ends from his desk. Another ancient sunscreen. This one's actually really good for your face. It doesn't feel all sticky and greasy. But this is pretty old. This can go now. Another ancient bottle of sunscreen that was in the car. A necklace I never wear. This little car diffuser thingy was sent to me. You put it on the car vent and then this opens with a magnet and you put essential oils on there. But I just find it doesn't really scent the car very well and you have to put oils on every single time which is a bit of a hassle so I'm not going to keep this. Another necklace I never wear. And another one. A cushion cover I don't use. And another one. I do like this dress but I don't wear it very often and I was kind of on the fence about decluttering it just because of how seldom I wear it. It looks better on camera than it does in real life. I'm looking on my viewfinder and I'm thinking, oh, that looks really good actually. But um, I wear it sometimes, but just not often enough and I'd rather have the closet space. And another dress. Some black pants that I don't wear. They are slightly too short and they're kind of stretched out in the knees. I have quite a few painting and kind of working t-shirts. I think this one can go. A workout top. I never reach for this one. Just a bit bright for me. I should have cleared this cardigan out a long time ago. The sleeves are stained from sunscreen. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but they're quite yellowish and I have bleached it and it helped a bit, but not enough. And it's also starting to kind of come apart there. I don't wear this shirt often enough to keep it and it's also kind of discolored there. A red handbag that I almost never use. I'll probably use this once every few years, so I just don't want to keep it. A pair of shoes I almost never wear. Easy to let them go. A couple of toy guns that the boys don't play with anymore. These wedges are super cute, but I never wear them, so I'm going to sell them. This is the base for the electric toothbrush that I had. It stopped working and ground through it out, so there's no point keeping the charger. Found this in the bathroom cabinet. Don't know why we're keeping it since there's absolutely nothing left in it. Also found this. This is the lid to a crystal deodorant that we haven't had for years. Don't know why we still have the lid. Little sample of Scentsy Washer Whiffs. I don't even know how old this is or if it even still smells. I have used another sample up and it did absolutely nothing to make my washing smell. So I think that's why I just never got around to using this one. A frame we no longer need. This is an ice bucket that I was using as a compost bin in the kitchen. But turns out I don't actually like having extra things sitting out on the counter. And if it's going to be stuck away in a cupboard, then I might as well just use a big bowl, which is what I've been doing. So I'm going to let this go. A top that I never wear. I ordered a couple of packets of seeds from Egmont Seeds and they sent me their catalog, which I really don't need. I don't need to be buying more seeds right now. And if I do, I'll just do it through their website. A plain gray long sleeve t-shirt. This is a top that I did some tea dyeing experiment on that did not come out very well. It was kind of an afterthought. I threw it in and it's come out like very blotchy. A black scarf that I don't wear very often. A couple of tape runners that we inherited when we bought the business. They are not good ones and we only need one anyway. So these can go. Three A5 ring binders that we have no use for. A pile of marketing materials for products. We don't need to keep this. More marketing cards for products we no longer stock. These wedges are really pretty, right? Nice, comfortable shoes. Well, I haven't worn them in ages. I wore them out to dinner the other night and in the space of walking from the house to the car and the car to the restaurant, they, <laughs> they started kind of breaking on the heels and I was leaving a trail of foam rubber behind me. And yeah, before my food was even served, this was the state of my shoes. <laughs> they completely 
fell apart. Like I said, walking from the house to the car and the car to the restaurant. They just completely fell apart. They're just so old and, I guess, brittle and they're both completely broken, which is kind of sad, but it was bizarre and hilarious at the same time. So these can go in the bin now. This is a pair of wedges I haven't worn in years. They're actually too tight across the front of my foot. And <laughs> given my experience with the last pair of wedges and another one that I've also worn to death and it fell apart when I wore them, I'm kind of scared to wear these anyway. So I'm just going to let these go. I like this top but I thrifted it in a hurry because the shop was about to close plus they didn't have a changing room and it's actually petite so while it fits like it's not too small it doesn't fit right it's too short in kind of the arms and whatever because it's obviously cut for a petite person so this can go right back to the thrift store it was only three dollars I grabbed this at the op shop or the thrift store it was with the scarves, I thought it was a scarf, and when I got it home, I realized it's an agent and an A um, swaddle blanket. So I'm actually gonna sell this, because they are not cheap, and I could probably get some money for that, and then go thrift shopping again. I'm gonna free up some space in the fridge. This has been sitting there, and it is gross, and nobody here wants to eat it, so I'm gonna toss it. I ordered some t-shirts from Kmart online for Noah, and they sent the incorrect t-shirt. He ordered some with like car logos or designs or whatever. And they sent this one. And when I kind of contacted customer service, they refunded me for this t-shirt. But Noah's never actually gonna wear a girl in a bikini. So <laughs> he's told me he'll never wear this t-shirt. So I'm just gonna pass this on to a friend with a son and maybe he'll wear it. Some holy old knickers. I hope you found that interesting to see the things that I've been clearing out. I'm still amazed that this is just such an ongoing process. Like I kind of knew that it was. You never just declutter and you're done because things change, kids outgrow clothes, circumstances change, whatever. There's always going to be something to declutter and clear out, but I'm just amazed at how much it, it boggles my mind. Anyway, still going, still decluttering. I hope that you found this helpful and motivating to go and clear a few things out of your own home. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.